Hello everybody, welcome to another bot build showcase. Today we're checking out the Tormentor Might. Some of you might say that the Tormentor Might is simply a troll build and has no value at all. And even though I'm tempted to say that they're correct, they're actually wrong. The Tormentor Might needs to run light armors and accelerators to have speed and agility, but it relies primarily on stuffed technology. The Tormentor Might is first and foremost a pretty decent counter to the Tormentor Nelly. Its stuff allows it to, well, let me first uh, talk about the armament. Single mag and three reinforced ammunition on the Tormentors, and a magazine and reinforced ammunition on its beacons. It might be correct to run Fulgers over beacon. I'm not quite decided yet. Well, as I was saying, the Tormentor Might is a brilliant counter to the Tormentor Nelly. It can stay out of the Tormentor Nelly's range due to its stuff and um, being hidden by its stuff, it can quietly just bother the Tormentor Nelly until the Tormentor Nelly starts to lose its tormentors. It is... Uh, it's not like a really big and serious threat, but it's like for, for one point you can distract the opposing Tormentor Nellies and they will have to deal with it or you will gradually just take all their weapons. Because it will take a long time for you to kill a Tormentor Nelly. But you don't have to do that. You only have to strip a few weapons and then the Tormentor Nelly will be tempted to ditch his bot. So this is basically the gameplay of the Tormentor Might. It plays like a smaller, faster, more agile version of the Tormentor Nelly without the pure damage output that the Tormentor Nelly can, well, dish out. Is this one of my favorite bots? No, not at all. Uh, is it a very good bot? No, I, honestly, I don't think so. It does a good job of countering the Tormentor Nelly and that's about it. It can troll the opposing team and you can draw light bots uh, off from, well, you, when you're bothering red Tormentinellis, the red team will send their light bots out to kill you. Um, if you play smartly, you can uh, take out or seriously damage opposing lights with your Tormentors as well. And, uh, well, yeah, you're really good at being a pest and a pain in the ass. So this is, even though it pains me to say this, this is very much a competitive and decent build. You will never rack up huge damage with it or score really well. And uh, yeah, now, this is a really annoying build. I, I have to say it kind of pains me to say that this is a relevant build, uh, but it's uh, it, it performs decent. It's even better than the Sting Might, which, yes, Sting Might is also a build that can perform decently. And also, the Sting Might is good for harrying Tormentinellis as well. So, basically, what I'm getting at is that this bot is good for bothering Tormentinellis. I don't see myself running this build. Uh, personally, I just run a Mangermite and uh, on Desert, Tormentinellis can be 
hard to deal with uh, with just manglers on your mind but you should be able to take out a tormentum nelly with manglers on the arctic map and if you of course manage to sneak up on the tormentum nelly on the desert you can take him out with that bot as well so Yes, it's good at countering Tormentonellis. Other things that are decent against Tormentonellis, such as Sarissa MAOs and Turpitzes, have. They simply take more. Well, both of these are better bots and they're more versatile, but they, are, they also cost more hangar points. So, um, as you can see, I'm not able to really do a lot of damage. I can, can annoy human players and against lights, you're really a pain in the ass. And Well, yeah. <laughs> this, this is like 75% troll bot and 25% legitimate bot. That guy, he's, he probably hates me. At this point, he, he probably really hates me. I would, you know. Uh, this is such a frustrating bot to be up against. Because you, you sort of need a mite to deal with him. And, uh, yeah. Let's see, that's exactly what this guy is going to do. He's running to mentors as well. Uh oh, looks like he has a folder. Damn toast. Or am I? Maybe I'm alive. Hmm, interesting, interesting. But my chest is red, and uh, so is two of my legs. And to be honest, I would rather play. <laughs> my my personal preference are for fast bots with a huge damage output to be able to brawl up close and personal. That's my preferred playstyle. Now, where is that guy? Oh, I thought I saw a pussycat. Oh, he's over there. For some reason, he ran away. Hiding from the turp. Hmm. You shouldn't be able to spot me from this distance. So yeah, th this is the build to invest in if you want to be hated by or all your friends. Um, um, a lot of the time it won't perform very well for you. And you will, you will encounter situations where you wished you had manglers. And... Um, I have this beacon, so if there is a build that should run it, it's possibly this, but then again, Folder is the best weapon in the game, so is it correct to run without Folders? Like in that specific situation, I would love to have Folders. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, too bad, too bad. I have another Tormentumite here. And that Tormentumite has a folder. Let's see 
how it performs. Oh, I ate those sarissas there, like some sort of fresh faced noob. Um, be aggressive. You should always be aggressive. And if I had had uh, manglers here, I would have stripped at least two sarissas from him. But I don't have manglers, I have these things. And I'm shot in the air and I'm dead. So as I said, run to man to might if you want to be hated. If you want to deal damage, run manglers. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.